All right, now it's time to work on our inventory. The very first thing we do is make a structure. Go to blueprint, structure, and make one called S item. Inside our S item, we need our name, a float, which is gonna be our weight, an actor, which is going to be an actor reference. You type in actor, and then make sure you select soft class reference, and then a texture 2D. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the next thing we need, we're gonna make a folder called component, and we're making another structure called S inventory slot. And in that one, we're going to put in the S item that we just made and an integer, which is going to be a quantity. Now, next in the character, we need a maximum carry weight float, a current carry weight, an error message as a text, and a got message as a boolean. <coughs> this is how we set up the message part. We have the message start out as not true. Then when we send a message, it becomes true. The message gets displayed to the character. I'm using the right-hand message on the right-handed controller, and then I deleted the left one. And then I start the message out as blank. But we end up sending this message to this text here. And then we display it for three seconds. Then we change it back to a blank message. And then we change it back to we didn't no longer have a message. <coughs> now, next thing we need is to create this blueprint class. You go in, blueprint class, actor component. We're going to name it BPC Inventory. The first thing we need to create is this variable here called a slot. In here, we got to select a type as a map. And then here, we're going to change it to that S inventory slot that we just created. And in here, we're going to set it as a name. Okay. That part should be fine. <coughs> okay, and then I have an error message text again here. And in here, instead of the blank message, I have too much weight. Can't carry more. So now, we're going to add our add function. And when we add, you should have C item and quantity from our S item or not our S item our other other one the S inventory and then you're gonna have this out add this output for too much weight as a boolean now I want you to note this item here this is the same as pulling down from here you just do get instead of tearing it out. So, we're going to get our care current carry weight for my character, and we're going to add it to the weight of the item that we're trying to add. And then if it's greater than our maximum carry weight, but I put less than or equal to our maximum weight, <coughs> we're going to send this message that says too much carry weight and then we're gonna let the message thing know that we got a message and then we're gonna return that we had too much weight but if we don't have too much weight 
we're going to see if we already found this item. We're going to look for the item by the item name. If we did not find one, we're going to set a new item. We're going to add it to the inventory. And then we're going to return that there was not too much weight. If there already is an item in our slot, we're going to update the quantity instead. So we break the slot, we add it together, we set the values that we want to do, and then we actually write the value. And then we return it wasn't too much weight. Following so far? <coughs> so then we want to do our drop function. In our drop function, there's nothing to return. We're going to get our carry weight again, and then we're not going to check. We, we don't need to do any checks. We're just going to subtract the our current carry weight from the weight of the item that was leaving. And then we're going to make sure we find it. We're going to subtract the quantity. And then if we removed more than what we have, and we have no more, we'll remove the slot. But if we're just subtracting one and we still have one left over, then we'll subtract it by adding a negative number. And then our last function on here, get, this is for check for, for a future thing to check for quests. So this is going to get the name of the item that we're looking for. And it's either going to return that we have the item. And if we do have the item, do we have enough of the quantity? So this is going to return two different bools. Do we have the item, yes or no? And then if we have it, do you have enough of the item to do it? So if you have both of these, you'll be you'll complete the quest. So that's all about now that we have this finished. We can actually add that inventory to our character. You come to add put in BPC, and then, then you can add your inventory in. And if you click on our inventory now, if we come over here to where it says slot, wait, where was the inventory? Oh, yeah, we got the error message here. Huh. Anyways, This slot here, you can put in your own default inventory. And every item that you want to have an in inventory, you can put this inventory on. But we're not going to do that yet, just a warning, because this one is only set up for the character at the moment. But just note in, in the future that this component that we just made goes here. Now, to make use of this, let's come to our items, and first we're going to start with the gems. Now, first thing you need to do is your coins and your gems got to be made into separate items, so take your coin children off. And then come to your gem master. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to add this event on used function. And we're going to cast to the character. We're going to get our invent inventory. And then we're going to use that add function. <coughs> and then 
for here all you gotta do is click on this and promote it to a variable and then you can put your details in for your item here for the default gem I just put gem I put in the weight here this is the actual actor and then here is a picture of the item now for these pictures let me show you it's just a little PNG file it's 256 by 256 and then I just removed the background and gave it a transparent background so you have to have one of these pictures for each of your item that you put in your inventory but that's where you put that in and then here we have our too much weight was it too much weight yes it was so don't destroy your the actor because you weren't able to add it to the inventory but if you were able to add it to the inventory it's going to destroy the item and you notice i have this id thing here uh you can put that in there but ignore it for now we're going to be using this later now all of your items that you want to pick up you have to add this event on used function in every item that you want to add to the inventory you have to make sure you fill out the details fill out the name you want the weight make sure it's the same item as itself <coughs> there's probably a way you can automatically do that set that up but uh, and then the makeup you sure you set up your picture And we need to do that with all the items that we want to pick up. Do that with your melee weapon, too. Go to your melee base. And do the same thing. Add it to inventory. Make sure you fill out your details. I have no default default details for my melee weapon, but I do... here for my actual weapon here's my short sword I gave it away to 12 here's the actual uh, blueprint for it and here's the picture there you go now you have to go through set up all of your items that you want to pick up now I mentioned the coins I made a master coin and it works like the one before this one it does not add to the inventory it just adds the silver points total and deletes it no inventory on the coin so make sure you get your potions get your coins get all the weapons that you want to use and I put my keys in there too now let me see here that sets up everything we need for the inventory in the next video we're going to start building the widget